Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video to one I had just done on compositing in Vegas Pro. And I was having an issue with the help documentation. If you look under compositing, it gives this example. If you go to 2D compositing, I can make this full screen right here. And it uses this example here. But what they don't tell you in this example is that by default, the compositing mode in Vegas Pro is set to source alpha. So if you go on the default settings, this example doesn't work. But this does work. This is true if the parent track is set to multiply mass. So this is a true example, but it doesn't say anywhere in here that the setting is off the default. So I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. If I come into Vegas Pro, I'm going to hit Control Shift Q, Control Shift Q three times to make three tracks. And now I'm going to get a yellow track, solid color, a magenta track, and I will get a green just because it's so obnoxious. <laughs> now, if we look in our compositing modes over here, I'm in Vegas 20. Anyway, if you come over here and you look at compositing mode, you see we're in source alpha by default. So if you followed that example, it won't work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a mask. So we just click here. We're going to click this circle and we're just going to draw a mask. Now this isn't the type of mask that we want. We actually need to flip this. We want this as this kind of mask because we want just a center of transparency in the middle. So as you can see we're seeing through, right? That's This seems to be the mask that we want. But watch what happens now if we change the compositing mode on this top level. So we go to compositing mode and now we're going to switch it to multiply mask and watch what happens. So now you might think, what in the world is going on? Well, one thing you need to know is that yellow and magenta combined make red. So what's happening now is that the multiply mask is, is actually merging these two colors. And that's also supported by the documentation. If you come into the documentation and you come here and you look at this, learn more about compositing modes, it says multiply mask merges the colors of the tracks, right? And you see how it has this blackness in the... So that's exactly what's happening. But I had reversed the mask, so it's merging the whole outside, and we want the inside merged. So I can flip this mask back to positive mask. And now what it's doing is what you'd expect it to do. It's masked out this area. If we look at this, it's masked out this area and the circle area is transparent and it's allowing these two colors to merge into red, right? Now things can get even more confusing because we can make these tracks children of this parent track. So if I come in here and I make this a compositing child and I'll follow the example, I'll make this second one a compositing child, you might ask what in the world's happening now? Well, we're still merging with these two here, right? But now what it's done is it's actually made a transparency all the way down. This is no longer a mask, but it too is transparent now. And I think that's why they call it multiply mask. Let me ask you this question. If I hit Control Shift Q, oh, let me drag this track down. What would appear down here? What is this down here? But believe it or not, we are seeing down to this level, this track right here. And it doesn't seem like it because black is actually transparent in Vegas Pro. It's very, very confusing because there's black the color and then there's black seen into nothingness transparency. So the default background in Vegas Pro, the blank empty background is black. So I can prove that by just bringing a track down here and watch what happens. See how you see the blue now? So what's happened is we can see all the way now through these two layers because they're children of this. Remember the multiply? So black is zero, so zero times any other value becomes zero, and therefore it becomes transparent. And so when you make these children of a multiply mask parent, it turns this, that is kind of just an opaque mask, it turns it into tra a transparency. So now we can see through these two, the second layer and the third layer, all the way down to a fourth layer now. But these two layers remain merged within the circle. So it can get very, honestly, it can get very confusing. So I just wanted to make this video just to, I'm going to return it back to normal 
So more to the example that was shown. This is exactly this example right here. 